Hello minions and citizens of Nexus, welcome to Wildstar PvP. I'm going to be playing some Walatiki Temple on an Exile Stalker, or in Stalker. And I wanted to highlight this match, not necessarily because it was a great match in the sense of how the team did, but you can kind of learn from failure a little more than you can from success. Now, I'm actually level 15, but I had to, uh, I actually queued up for this match about an hour into uh, playing, or I was sitting in the queue for like an hour and a half or something like that, and it finally popped and I had leveled, so I'm actually level 15, downscaled to level 14. Now, this does mean I do have an extra action slot, and because I was so rushed getting into this match, I didn't get a chance to actually put uh, one of the abilities I usually use on my hotbar, uh, but I have pretty much everything else the way I usually like it. And also because I'm downscaled, I don't have access to my my tank stance, and engineers, warriors, and stalkers all have a tank stance, and that's really handy for running the Tiki Mask. So uh, I didn't have access to those, so you will see me mostly in the Agile stance as a Stalker that gives you some bonuses to movement, which is pretty nice. Uh, typically, I usually play in the actual uh, Lethal stance, which boosts a lot of damage output, but you do have that 5% resist decrease. Now here I am, I'm moving towards one of the Tiki Masks. On this map, it's kind of in a big circle. This is the new version of the map, so I'll explain some of the changes in it. There are three places on the bottom center where a Tiki Mask can spawn. You can see one there. And my, I, my goal now is to help kind of CC these guys. I just did a false retreat to stun a lot of those people there. And we were actually able to grab the mask because of that. Um, also on this map, they also spawn on, there's one spot on the above that spawns on the bridge. And you can see we've got a guy running the flag right now. I'm trying to keep people off of them, trying to keep them CC'd with my stun. And do a fairly decent job of keeping people off him. Looks like most people got target locked into a fight there. There's another stun from me, putting some damage and looks like they decided to pull into a fight instead of actually uh, running the mask in. Now, what just happened there? We actually just had a mask stolen from us, the very same mask that we just capped. <laughs> so that's, that's highly unfortunate that happened. But, you know, it does happen from time to time. And that's one of the biggest problems of this particular match, is that the Dominions did a much better job of controlling mid, as well as being all up in our base and stealing our masks. Now, I am kind of a flag runner type. I did get target locked here, and I don't usually like to do that, but these people were kind of low on health, so I wanted to finish them off. Now here I kind of disengage, and I actually start moving towards the, the actual Tiki Masks. Now, one of the changes in this map, I kind of missed it on my right there, but there are actually ramps that kind of take a cave entrance to the base now. So you can kind of have a little stealthier approach and as well as when you're running. Now right here, uh, this is about where I realized that I no longer have my tanking stance because I was down leveled. You can actually bind your tank stances. and Well, all of your stances, you can bind them and I would highly suggest doing that for PvP. Um, right here I have their whole team on me and there's just really nothing I can do. I have a spell slinger trying to help me out there and it's just not enough. Their whole team is here and they just ran another flag in. I tried to escape here and I nearly did. If I didn't have dots on me, I would have gotten away. <laughs> so this map is actually a lot of fun. It's a lot like Capture the Flag. Um, each team has to capture five Tiki Masks. If you get to five Tiki Masks, you win. And the interesting take on it is that you can actually steal tiki masks from the other team. Now here we have the new entrance and the new exit, or the new exit I should say, from the graveyard. And I'm just going to jump down here. Their whole team is down there, so I cloak and I wait for them to go by. That teammate over there is pretty much screwed and there was nothing that I could have done to help them. 
Now, here's something that I actually did mess up on. Um, I'm so used to using things, taking you out of stealth, but it doesn't do that in PvP. You actually have to unstealth and then use the item. I could have probably beaten that person to the pickup if I would have done that, but she did get the pickup, and so I engaged to kind of hopefully slow her down. She's doing a decent job of stunning me in turn, and I'm actually engaged by that little Chua there, and I've got a lot of cooldowns up, so I decided to disengage and kind of run around the opposite way. Now, if you notice in this match, myself and one other person are the only people pushing their base, and the Dominion team has done a very good job of keeping us on the defense and not even defending that well. So, my <laughs> me, me not being around our base kind of doesn't really mean much. Um, I'm actually keeping us in this game, as you'll see a little later, by stealing masks. And I'm looking around. This person is a medic actually looking for me. I don't know if they saw me come in, but they are kind of blasting the area to see if they can actually uncover me. So we kind of do this dance around this rock here. It's always fun times. And about right now, I'm thinking that they're running another mask in. And I'm thinking, you know, I don't know, something's up. Like, they know I'm there, but they do leave eventually. So I make my move for another mask. And here we go. Now I'm actually running the mask. And you're going to see me uh, take the new exit. Now I see a stealth right there, and I just instinctively try to do my stagger, which is my stun. But it was friendly, luckily. And they are going to help me run this. You can actually see some damage buffs in this new little cave, which is pretty cool. Might be... It's, it's certainly an interesting um, change to the map. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Obviously, it makes running it and sneaking into the base a little bit easier because people aren't paying attention to that entrance so much. On the opposite side, the map is fairly small, so it's not really like in Warsaw Gulch where you had the, the different way to get up top in the base, and but you couldn't really go out that way. I don't know, it's, it's kind of strange. <laughs> so I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I like it and I don't like it. Um, obviously, my team in this game is doing a very bad job of keeping our base defended. They're actually 4-0 to zero right now, and if they would have gotten another mask. If, if I would have not picked this mask up, it would have been game over. So it's now 4-1. Dominion's winning. Guy dancing over here. <laughs> and I decided to engage him because I think he's actually going for that tiki mask I just capped. And our, our whole team kind of pounces him. I have no idea why they're not fighting over the mid section, but whatever. I just engaged to make another run at another Tiki Mask because I'm looking at the score, seeing it's 4-1, and knowing that I need to at least try to get them thrown off their game a little bit. And that's something I like to do in this map is to kind of sneak in and try to ninja mask then because it does throw the other team off. They're gonna see that a mask has been stolen and they will try to send a couple people away from mid to engage. And sometimes you actually get away with the mask, and that's even better because that's a point for your team and a point away from their team. So there we actually have a friendly running a mask, and the Dominion is running a mask, and I'm running a stolen mask right now. It's now 3-1. I have my stolen mask, and I'm making a run for it. It's important to note, and you'll see this later on, you cannot use movement abilities when you are carrying the mask. So if you use like a teleport or something like that, you do drop the mask. So running the mask, you can't sprint either. So it's pretty slow to actually run the mask. And that's why I recommend running it in tank stance, because you do get some extra resists. And it's always nice to have some CC on your bar so you can stun some people. Unfortunately for me, um, I don't have a, I don't have my snare 
on there, which isn't such a, I don't know, I, I prefer some other skills over that one. And my knockdown is really nice, but that's a movement skill as well. So that would actually make me drop, drop the mask. So really only have my stagger, which is a stun. And their whole team is coming out to greet me here. I thought about waiting for a split second, but then I just decided I'm just going to try to freight train this in here. I got knocked down there. Luckily, I do have a friendly teammate. And I get the cab. So I try to help clean up our room here just a little bit. There's not a whole lot that I can do at this point with our team gone. I'm focusing the healer right now. That's a medic. And I noticed that they have straight up stolen one of our masks and are running away with it. So it's time to dogpile on that guy and get him to drop the mask. Now, when that mask drops that's been stolen, you need to camp it. You can't pick it back up and move it yourself. You just need to camp it until it resets and goes back to your base to make sure that they don't grab it. I disengaged because I saw that our whole team was on top of it and I wanted to make a run for another mask because yet again, it's 4-1 and there are there is a mask available in mid. So I wanted to make sure they couldn't just outright cap. Um, I, I actually grew really fond of this entrance in this map. It, I, I guess it is a good thing tactically because it's going to make people uh, pay a little more attention to the entrances and exits. You actually kind of need a defender. And here I have a friend actually running the mask, a stalker friend, and the stalker actually uh, does a teleport. Actually, that might have been a spell slinger. I don't know. I didn't see the actual effect, but you see they jumped out and they actually dropped the mask. Now, as far as I know, other than those little run buffs on the ground, there's no actual abilities that you can use to buff someone's speed. That's something that some games have. And now he's going for the run buff, and I see a fight down here. So I get ready to hopefully CC some of these people as they make a V-line for the mask. And unfortunately, they have their immunity up, so that knockdown failed to go off. He's stunned. I'm going, making a break for him. He just knocked down our mask. And you see me go for the days there. I did get the days off. Our flag here is running. I'm getting stunned. They're just, just freight training on this guy. And they're joined by some more of their teammates. And our flag carrier goes down. I tried, got, yeah, got a knock off there. Not quite enough though. Now there's a big fight over the mask, and unfortunately I just took too much damage, didn't have enough healing coming in, and I dropped. Score is now 4-2, and I decide to make a break for another flag because I took a look at the score, and it's really freaking uh, close to losing here. Unfortunately, they did get a cap, and it was pretty much GG. I actually ended the map with two caps, three steals, and six assists on kills. I didn't get any actual kills, but I was pretty happy with those two caps and the three steals. Um, those two caps were stolen, so that actually kept us in for a little longer. If our team could have pulled together, we probably could have won this. So that was Wildstar PvP. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm going to be making more videos, so make sure you subscribe and also follow me on Twitter at Isitra FTW, and check me out on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming this all weekend long, and I can't wait. Oh, and we're going to be talking about it on the Call of the Sirens gaming podcast, so uh, make sure you go to callofthesirens.com. We're actually going to be live on twitch.tv slash callofthesirens on Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern, and we're going to be talking about Wildstar, and we're going to be playing Planetside 2 afterwards, and then I'm going to go back to streaming more Wildstar after that. I'm going to also stream a little Wildstar before the show as well. So definitely a Wildstar weekend now that the NDA has dropped. I'm going to be doing a lot of PvP on the Stalker. So if you have interest in PvP or leveling in the game, I'm making a push to 32 so I can stay in the uh, in-game beta. <laughs> I'm kind of an altaholic, so I have all my levels spread around. Until next time, I will see you all on Planet Nexus.